Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I am here with a review for Willy's Wonderland, the game on Xbox. Now, this came out on the 13th of June 2024, developed and published by Cubite Interactive. And this is a 2.5D beat em up game based on the cult film of the same name. The one that's got Nicolas Cage in it and it's basically Five Nights at Freddy's but with Nicolas Cage. The film is amazing, it's such a good little like cult horror film. Came out a few years ago now though, which baffles me why this game is now out. But I jumped in and had a good play of it. Now, you can play as either of the two main characters, the janitor or Liv. Now, they don't have the likenesses of the film characters at all. They look nothing like them in the slightest. And you'll battle your way through a variety of levels, beating a whole host of like zombie enemies. I don't remember the zombies in the game in the movie properly, but um, in the game, there's tons of these like different zombie characters. Work your way through each level, and then you'll fight a boss, which is basically one of these like evil killer animatronics. So there's like Tito Turtle, Artie Alligator, Willy Weasel, all that sort of stuff. Now. This game plays a lot like Streets of Rage. You can play it co-op as well, up to two people, which is nice. I did play this uh, single player. Now, one thing I like about the game, I'll go for the things I like first. There's a good variety of levels to play through inside like the, the venue, on the roof, outside in the parking lot and stuff like that. There's breakable objects and stuff with pickups for health and stuff like that which is cool no sort of weapons you can pick up which is a shame and all of the bosses have their own sort of unique attack patterns now you also have abilities you have like a dash ability and a like swirling ability when you play as the janitor which is the main one I played as this basically um, refills once you've used each of them. Once it's fully refilled, you can use it again. And you build up a fun meter. Now this fun meter has three levels. When it reaches a certain amount, you can use it for three different abilities. You can either like go into like a rage mode, you can increase your damage, or you can heal with it. And then it removes some of the, uh, like the, the levels you've gained, depending on which one you use. Now, I found just spamming the plus damage absolutely um, helped. When I was playing through it, you get three lives, but when you complete a level, you start the next level, you have another three lives, so you, you always replenish them, which is nice. Obviously, you get more points the less lives you lose in a level, but the game itself isn't super difficult. It's not super long. You can finish it in about half an hour. There is an achievement for finishing the game with both characters. However... Once you finish every level with one character, you only have to complete the last level with the other one if you're just going in for the easy 1,000 gamer score. Now, things I didn't like, the hit like detection is awful. Um, at some points, you'll be uh, hitting them. It deals no damage. At other points, you'll be getting absolutely wrecked by them because it's just not doing any damage. Or you'll do your special, and they'll just literally tap you, and it'll negate your special the levels also are while they are varied they are a little bland especially the one that's in like the air ducts and stuff like that and it's just a shame that it, it doesn't have the feel of the movies it doesn't have like even a real resemblance to the characters from the film which is a shame bar the animatronics but this is a very reasonably priced game on xbox it's priced at i think about four pound and 19 pence good for achievement hunting and a fun little game that you can play with friends i wouldn't go back to it once i've played for it twice i don't think it's okay it's a bit glitchy like i say the hit detection is a bit meh and it is on the little like in terms of length short but it's nice that this game's been made i feel like it would have done better if it had come out a couple of years ago when the film came out but that's not up to me is it now it's playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S consoles and it's optimised for Series X and S and it's also available on all other platforms as well. So check it out, let me know in the comments what you think of it and I'll see you soon for more gaming content. Bye for now.